Hi guys, Paul here from Studio One Expert. Today we're having a look at the Corder plugin, which was included for the first time in version 3 as part of the Note Effect suite. Corder is an intelligent chord generator that lets you trigger chords by playing single notes. You can specify intervals in the chord manually or capture chord shapes played on the keyboard. Each key can trigger a different chord of your choice, or you can choose a single chord shape to play across multiple keys. You also have control over the area of the keyboard that triggers these chords, letting you, for example, trigger chords in the upper part of the keyboard while playing single note bass parts in the lower half. Let's have a look around and see what we can do with it. Once you load the plugin on an instrument track, you'll be presented with this interface, which is basically two rows of piano keyboards with some buttons and options available. The first thing we can do to get a taste of what this plugin is about is to flick through some of the presets. The presets are divided into chord groups, chord types, and intervals. Chord groups conform to the scale you're playing in, while chord types just focus on one particular type of chord. Let's select the Neo Soul chord group and try it out. Any note I play that lies inside the range highlighted in orange will trigger a chord, while any note outside the range will not be affected. It's very useful as a chord assistant. And of course, we can extend, reduce, or remove this range around by simply clicking and dragging on the orange bar, like so. Let's go through some of these options. Corder lets you transpose the output up or down as far as the octave with this box here. So now, as I'm adjusting the transpose, if I now play C, it will sound a C sharp, or a D, D sharp, etc. Autofill automatically assigns any unassigned keyboard keys in the chord range to the chord shape mapped to the key immediately below. Uh, basically, so in the key of C, if I hit C sharp by accident, it will produce the chord of the note directly below what I just played, which is C. Disable that to ensure only assigned keyboard keys trigger chords. Turn on Filter Outside to stop all notes that fall outside the chord range. When it's disabled, these notes will not be affected by the plugin. On. Off. And finally, the most powerful feature of the Corder is Learn Mode. This allows you to specify your own chord shapes. Let's see how to do that. When we switch on Learn Mode, we can see what keys are triggered by the MIDI input. If we click on a note on the lower keyboard, it shows us what each note is mapped to on the upper keyboard. For example, if we click on C2 here, we see that it triggers a root position chord of C, C, E, G, in the octave above. Clicking on a note shows us what it's mapped to. It's here that we can make changes to the mapping. So for instance, if we click on C2 again, I can make changes to the chord that sounds when C2 is played by clicking in the upper keyboard or by pressing notes on the MIDI controller. Say I want C2 to trigger a chord with a suspended fourth and a minor seventh. Simply add in an F and a B flat on the upper keyboard. Alternatively, you can play these on your MIDI controller like this. Now when we exit learn mode, that chord will sound every time C2 is pressed.
The last thing we'll look at in this video is how to render an instrument track once you've made a performance using the Corder or any other Note plugin. Say you've made a performance with the plugin that you're happy with, but you need more control over the harmonies and over the nuances with the playing that you can't achieve with the plugin. As you can see here, we have two lines, for the right hand, for the left hand. These are the chords being generated with Corder. And up here we have the melody. I want these chords to be realized so we have more control over the editing of the performance. It's very easy. We will right click on the event, instrument parts, render instrument tracks. Now the harmony generated by the plugin is available for us to edit. Okay, I hope you got something from that guys. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.